Hello friends, this is Dharmit Patel. Today, we are gonna talk about... Oh, what's that sound on my Mac? It seems like my startup disk is almost full. Oh my gosh, uh, what should I do? I think I need a device to back up this data on my MacBook. I mean, it's the drone videos, uh, YouTube videos, I mean, what not? What should I do? Well, here is the solution. So let's quickly unbox this item and review it. So it's the Sandisk, Sandisk Extreme Portable SSD with a USB-C 3C USB 3C as well as USB 3 port and it's really small almost like like the size of the palm so let's take a look at the detailed review about how this product looks like from inside so I need to make sure I put this uh -oh. there you go so in the box you have a tiny, really tiny, as you can see, it's size of my palm, hard drive, 500 gigs, a manual with all the information, as well as basically the cable, such that it's pretty much, oh, come on, it's pretty much a USB-C cable with a USB 3 to USB 3C adapter so if you have a USB 3 port you can use like this you, if you have USB 3C port you can directly use this so performance wise Sandys claims that it provides up to 550 MB per second read and write speed but you know they always claim higher speed so let's see how much fast this SSD really is. So to test this, I'll plug my hard drive with USB-C here and I'll plug it over here. Um, let's get started and the hard drive should appear over there and as you can see it says do you want to use Xtreme SSD 500.11 GB to back up with Time Machine? Uh, I would decide that later because I am trying to back up my videos right now. So if I do the information task, as you can see it is formatted with XFAT and I'll now quickly start the test. So to do that I'll select the stress as 5GB select the target drive as the extreme ssd click open and i will click start and as you can see the write speed is around 473 mb per second which is pretty fast and the read speed is 519 521.1 mb per second which is really fast um, so compared to what they claim it's like I would say two three three percent less speed so it's really worth to buy this product given the size and given the space it offers so given the space this thing offers I think it's really worth a buy I believe this hard drive goes anywhere between $80 to $150. I bought it for like $81, which is really good deal for uh, this small of a form factor as well as the speed, the performance it provides as well as the size. This model comes with 256 GB, 500 GB, a terabyte and a whooping 2 terabyte in this small case. So I think it's really worth a buy. So if you are looking for a small portable device to take a backup or take quickly transfer data, this is the thing you should buy. 
I hope you like this video. If you do, please click on that thumbs up button. Please feel free to subscribe my channel by clicking on that red button. Click on the bell icon to get the automatic notifications from YouTube whenever I upload the videos. Once again, thank you and have a good one. Goodbye.